This video is about current and drift velocity. Current is a measurement of the amount of charge passing by a point per unit of time, and it's a scalar. The variable for current is capital I, and the unit is capital A, which stands for ampere. We also just call that amps, so we can say like five amps of current. The equation is current is equal to charge per time, because again, it's the amount of charge passing per unit time for a given location. As an example, if I draw this line and imagine that 10 coulombs of charge pass by the line in two seconds, the current there was five amps, five coulombs per second. So that's what an amp is and that's what current is. It's pretty simple, just a measurement of how much charge is passing in a given amount of time. Current has a direction, but it is not a vector. This is because it doesn't obey the rules of vector addition. So you can't really use trig or triangle math or anything like that, or connecting the tip to tail to understand current. So because it doesn't work that way, we, don't, we say that it's not really a vector. And almost all current is the result of electrons moving in a material. So it would make sense to say that the direction of current is the direction that electrons are moving inside the material, which is the direction negative charges are moving. This direction is the real direction of current. So like if you have a wire going in a circle and you have current in the wire, the actual movement of the electrons is the movement of negative charge. It has a certain direction associated with it. So we, we could say that that's the direction of the current. That's the real direction of the current. However, there's something weird about how we talk about current, which is that the concept of current and all our physics around it was invented before we knew about electrons, before we specifically knew what electrons were and how they worked. So scientists at the time decided that current is the direction of the movement of positive charges. So even though positive charges are not actually moving in a circuit or in most other situations, we can say that because the negative charges are moving away from that area, it's kind of like the positive charge is moving toward that area. So that opposite direction of the negative charge, the positive charge, we call this direction the conventional current, a direction we use because of convention, not because it represents reality. The math in this course is based around conventional current, not the real direction of current. So whenever you see current symbolized as moving a certain way, you'll know that secretly the electrons are actually moving in the opposite direction, but because of convention and because we've set all the other math up to work with that conventional current, we're going to pretend it points in that direction. There are a few variables that can affect the size of the current in a traditional circuit where electrons are flowing. They're summarized in this second equation for current. So current can be equal to the electrons per meter cubed in a material times the cross-sectional area of that material times the drift velocity of the charges in the material. And drift velocity is just a complex name for saying how fast the charges are moving in that material times the charge of each carrier moving through the material. That's almost always going to be electrons because electrons are the only real carriers of charge in most materials. As an example, um, this is what a typical problem with that second equation could look like. A current of two amps passes through a copper wire um, and copper wire has 8.5 times 10 to the 28th electrons per cubic meter of cross-sectional area of 0 0.02 meters squared. What is the drift speed of each charge? So plugging this into my equation, I know the current I know the number of electrons per meter cubed. I know the area, the cross-sectional area, and I know the charge of one electron is that elementary charge. Plugging these in to solve for V, the drift speed, the drift velocity, gets me a drift velocity of 7.3 times 10 to the negative ninth meters per second. So that's how you would use the second equation for current.